Hey guys, so I recorded this entire episode with my mic muted. And now I have to re record it. <laughs> Basically, because I already saved the episode. Um, so, re record as in I'm just gonna talk, and I already talked. <laughs> so. I uh, don't remember everything I did in every little moment. I just remember kind of starting off the episode like, hey, I don't know really where I was at, and I was just gonna be on baby watch um, and wait for Poppy to go into labor. So, we're on baby watch right now. She's in her second trimester. I'm going to be going into her third trimester real soon. Um, she's just kind of hanging out, waiting for it to happen. So, kind of interacting with her husband here. <laughs> and uh, congratulating him on their marriage. <laughs> she um, eventually decides to go out. I did go out a couple times and try to, you know, get out on the town to make the time go by faster for baby watch. But I know I took care of some needs first. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what else to really, um, say because I don't remember what happened, so I guess I'm just gonna, like, talk, if that makes sense. Um, I feel like I'm incredibly awkward right now, um, recording, because I don't know really what to say, um, I don't have much of, like, a base audience, so that makes it a little bit more difficult, I guess, too, uh, because I haven't built that comfortability with an audience, I feel like I'm not talking to anyone. But I am talking to someone, if that makes sense. Um, whoever's watching, hello. Uh, so we end up talking to Summer Holiday a little bit. Um, and basically I tell her that I'm pregnant and start gushing about my husband. And then she just walks away. It's probably because she's single and she's jealous. And I decide that I want to hang out with Becca Clark uh, and see what she's up to. So I invite her to go hang out. Because, like I said, we're on Baby Watch. Uh, so we go down to Thrift Tea. And apparently there was a poetry... Um, like, reading or whatever going on at Thrift Tea. Which was kind of nice to see. I wasn't sure why I was apologizing to Becca. I don't know what I did. Um, so I apologized to her without really knowing why. <laughs> Last time I saw her was at my house party, and we danced, I'm pretty sure. And I guess now she's mad. So we just end up talking a little bit. Um, and that's about it. We become besties. Poppy is falling out of touch. Oh, yeah. So is that Poppy and her husband fell out of touch and they're not besties anymore? And, like, they literally just talked like 20 minutes ago. But, okay. <laughs> um, either way. So then this is me just trying to, like, figure out who the sim is anyway. Hillary Warrant. Don't know who she is. And Poppy had used the bathroom, and then I decided to order some matcha. Uh, spoiler alert, I don't think that she got the matcha, and I ordered another matcha, and it disappeared again. So I don't really know if she actually ended up drinking a matcha, or if she drank both, no idea. Um, and we also create a fashion look that I think is super cute. I think it kind of fits her really well. Um, I had her wear it a little bit after creating it. Look at how cute. I really enjoy that shirt. I don't really remember if that's in Cass or if that's just there at Thrift Tea. Like if it's part of the, um, I forget the name of it, but where you can make clothes and sell it, like knitting. I don't know. But either way, I made this like little cute simple outfit um, and had Poppy wear it. <sighs> this 
excuse me, I'm yawning. Um, it's like 1 a.m. here. And I also didn't know its name, this look, so I just sort of made a random name myself because it told me I had to name it. And I wasn't going to name it like Llama Core because there had nothing to do with llamas. <laughs> so, who knows? Um. see her matcha so I don't know if they just forgot about her when she made the look but I changed her look she looks cute um there's like a poetry reading right now and look at her she's like I'm so tired and pregnant right now like this trimester is getting me she's exhausted <laughs> here I am trying to get the thumbnail so sorry about that <laughs> every episode I'm like I have to get a thumbnail, hold on. Hold on guys, gotta get the thumbnail, gotta get the thumbnail. Also, I don't know why, but that lady and like all the other ladies are basically matching and wearing the same outfit, you'll see when they come back. So I haven't ordered another matcha because I didn't see her drink the other one. And there you go, there's literally like three girls wearing the same outfit here. And I'm not sure why. I don't know if it has to do with the poetry reading. Which is cute. I like that they have a poetry reading here. Yeah, so look, she gets her matcha. And she walks over to sit with Becca. Because I asked her to hang out. So we sit together. She sets down her matcha. And then poof is gone. So I don't think she drank any of her matchas. That I ordered. And then now that I'm looking back and I'm re recording the audio, something else happens ah, later where glitch. I wonder if there's just a glitch where, like, I can't get my drinks. <laughs> uh -huh. Because you'll see. Um, so she, anyway, she kind of talks to. Um, sorry, excuse me. Accidentally hit the mic. Um, she's talking to Becca. And I don't know. I'm just looking around, and she's talking to Becca, and I don't know, I feel like the vibes with Becca are, like, a little bit off. Like, yeah, we're besties, but, like, every time I hang out, she just kind of, like, ignores me, goes off without me. She's, like, doing her homework when we we're supposed to hang out. Like, I know she's in college, but, like, come on, girl, we're hanging out. So I just kind of started looking around, because Becca started to bore me a little bit. <laughs> uh, especially because she just wasn't very, like, interested in our conversation and that was kind of annoying to me like come on Becca anyways so then I decide you know what I'm gonna go on a date with my husband because Becca here is just not paying attention to me <laughs> that sounds like kind of high maintenance but come on girl we I asked you to hang out So anyways, I head back home. I'm gonna ask my husband to go on a date. Fives. Alright, Fives, let's go on a date. And you see, this is where it gets a little bit, like, whoa, spicy. She comes in, she's like, honey, I'm home. And he's like, wow. You should hang out with Becca more often if you're gonna come back and kiss me like that. And, uh, yeah, do what your heart tells you. Poppy's all about that. Do what your heart tells you. Oh, um, so we go on this date. <laughs> and I head over to a cafe. Because I forgot to install a restaurant. Or build a restaurant. So poor Poppy couldn't go to a restaurant like she wanted. Okay, me. I couldn't go to the restaurant like I wanted. Here I am looking where we have to go. So we go to this cafe. And here I am to tell you that this is why I'm like, is there a glitch or something? Because Poppy couldn't drink her matchas. And here we go to this cafe. And I try to order a drink like five times. We'll count. I don't remember how many times I tried to order this drink. But I tried to order this drink. And it wouldn't let me. First I get a cannoli. And then I want a mocha. I feel like... Poppy's a mocha kind of girl. And I feel like 
identifies as more of like a Americano kind of guy. Like, I used to work at Starbucks as a barista, and I feel like Vise would definitely be the kind to get an Americano. Although it's possible he'd have some other drinks as well that he might get. I could be a little, like, off, but I definitely feel like he for sure would try the Americano. So, Poppy gets her cannolis. Super exciting. She wants to eat her cannolis. And then she doesn't get her mocha, like I ordered. How annoying. So I start to realize she's eating her cannolis. Angela's blasted in the face with coffee. She wants her mocha. There's a bunch of other customers here. And all the customers are getting their coffee, but Poppy doesn't get her mocha. And then there's paparazzi for whatever reason, just taking a bunch of pictures in the way. I'm sure Angela's a little thrown off as a barista. So I understand now, but I was a little upset while recording. Because I waited and I waited and I waited and she did not get her mocha. And I tried to order it like five times. There's me getting mad. <laughs> and checking to see if every drink was mine. Cafe latte, not mine. It was his. Americano. So I'm like, is that Fiaz's? Because I ordered him an Americano. <laughs> Guess it's not his, because he didn't grab it. But he starts talking to that guy with the hood. Macchiato, not mine. And here I am, continuously, over and over and over, asking you guys, where's my mocha? So she goes up to get a croissant because she's still a little hungry and I wonder if I can get a croissant. Like if it's just me or if it's just the drinks that are glitching. So she gets the croissant, but then guess what? Snatch. Someone took it. And then there we go. There's another croissant. Snatch. Someone takes it. That guy. So, Poppy's a little upset. <laughs> because all of her stuff that she ordered is not being given to her. And I just want to be rude to Angela Pleasant. <laughs> where's my mocha? And then I started wondering, is it because I'm pregnant? She's like, give me my mocha? I get bad. So I end the date, because this is the worst date I've ever been on. Very lame. Paparazzi's everywhere. There's a celebrity I don't care about. I'm not getting my mocha. I didn't get my croissant. So we go back home. <laughs> and my husband's probably like, who cares, bro? But I want my mocha. Either way. So somehow Poppy was doing that. And I'm like, okay, Poppy, but you need to work on uh, going to the bathroom and getting yourself something to eat since you couldn't go get something to eat when we went to the cafe. I mean, yeah, you got a cannoli, but that didn't fill you up. She's a hungry pregnant lady. We're on baby watch. Anyways, so I was really, like, well upset. And here I am just, like, getting them, like, taking care of their needs and everything. Um, and getting them ready for bed because I figured to myself, oh, maybe, like, we go to bed. We take care of our needs. We go to bed. She'll wake up in labor. So here I am, just like, figuring that out. Spoiler alert, she didn't go into labor. And I was like, girl. <laughs> I told her I'd pick that up for her. See, I keep like forgetting where I was at, so. This commentary is a little off because I forget what's going to happen and like what I was choosing and as I talk to you guys when I'm normally filming these videos I'm talking about what I'm going to do before I do it or just like vocally saying oh I think that she needs this and whatever and like all the things that happen I'm commenting on them as they happen so it's very like natural conversation so this episode's a little weird 
but I didn't want to, like, just do it and then be like, well, now I have to record a whole new video because I already saved everything. Although I guess I could have, I could have moved the story forward a little bit because technically this episode we're just on baby watch. We're just waiting for our baby to be born. And then here's another thing that happens. Um, how she's like, she wasn't getting her drinks, and I was like, is that a glitch? And then Fize is like, getting ready to go, he's gotta go to work. And, uh, it said that he was going to work, and then it just, he glitched. And then he wouldn't go to work. Like, I kept trying to send him to work, it, it didn't work. Um, and so he stays home. And then, spoiler alert, later on in the episode, he ends up getting a notification that said he made money from going to work when he never even went to work. And I didn't select work from home, as far as I know. Unless it was a glitch. There I was, looking at the mail lady, like, who are you? Paying the bills because why not? Because we're home. Might as well pay the bills because we can't go to work. And then I decide to have him work on the things that he needs to get promoted and to work towards his career since he's not at work. And honestly, it became kind of boring just like watching him up his skills while Poppy was at work. Yeah, girl, follow your heart. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I ended up telling Poppy to come home early from work because I just got like kind of bored sitting there watching him up his skill. Like I said, we were supposed to be on baby watch. And we weren't watching any babies. <laughs> oh, look at them, they're so cute. feels tense because of all that. So we have him game instead. All work and no play makes Fize a dull boy. There we go. She's coming home. Which, I mean, technically I really could just have her paint to make money. But I put her in the painter career because I figured she'd make extra money that way. And I wanted to build up some money. Especially because they're going to have to move once the baby gets older. So the baby can have their own bedroom. Um, but I mean the house kind of works for a little while. <sighs> anyway, she's taking a nap because she deserves it. And then... Fize is gonna go cook them some food, but spoiler alert, after he cooks them some food, she gets invited to a festival, and she just goes, because I was like, well, maybe this will help put her into labor and make this go by faster, because I'm sitting here, and I'm like, when is this baby coming? <sighs> so I think he's baking these, like, chicken sliders. <laughs> And see, she glitched. I told her to go to the bathroom. She goes upstairs and she stops. So uh, I just wondered if my game was like glitching. And that's what was happening this episode. I just have her do some relaxing stuff and then look. Fai's just like, oh my god, my pregnant wife is in the tub oh, taking a bath. Why is it scary, dude? Like, she's just taking a bath. 
go eat your food. Look at how cute she is. I just think Poppy is like one of the most adorable sims. Anyways, there's Becca. Here she is saying, hey, let's go um, to the Humor and Hijinks Festival and get some food. And of course, Poppy's like, heck yeah, because I am hungry. There she is. Look at her. Ready to pop. She's ready to go. Gotta get that thumbnail. Gotta get the thumbnail. Ugh. Becca's just doing her setups. Anyway, so we just started like trying to talk to Becca a little bit because she did invite us out. Like I said, I feel like every time Becca and I hang out, she just like kind of ditches me in the end. And you'll see she tells again, which is kind of frustrating. Like, why do we hang out with her if she's going to ditch me? I mean, it seems like I ditched her here, but I just went to go get some food. And then she orders and comes sits with me. I got some tagine, and she got some pho. I remember that. And then here comes Simon's silver sweater. And then she stands up, and then there we go. They come and take her spot, and Becca's like, hey guys, what's up? And they took her spot, so now Poppy's left out. How rude. So then I'm like, well, I guess pregnant girl gotta pee, so let's go. And I'm a little irritated. And then look, Pies is like, hey, you made this much money at work. He didn't even go to work. <laughs> and then there's Lola Pleasant, and I was like, hey girl, your sister didn't give me my mocha earlier? Mad AF. And then there's me trying to figure out who they are. <laughs> and then look, Octavia Moon, also ready to pop, just like me both of us pregnant at the same time me and her celebrity and poppy octavia and poppy look at her radiant shining she's glowing <laughs> literally she's glowing anyways so i go up and i try to attempt an introduction with octavia moon uh just to be like hey girl like we're both pregnant at the same time you're a celebrity how cool and, um, Poppy just walks away from her. She was like, whatever, I'm done. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, Poppy, let's just go home. Because it seems like you're tired and just ready for bed. And I'm like, okay, at this point, going to bed has to put her in labor now. Because we're still on baby watch. She's in her third trimester. She might as well go to sleep. And then she'll wake up and have a baby. And Fias needs to get some sleep too. So that they can take care of this baby together. So here we are. We need to their sleeping. <sighs> Clearly I need to be sleeping. And this is one of the hard parts of playing Sims, when you have to wait for them to sleep. So she wakes up, time to pee, time to eat, time to just like take care of yourself, all this stuff, and let's have this baby. I 
still think her house is so adorable. I love it. And he gets up, so we have to take care of his needs too. And this is when I start to realize we've hit like 26 minutes in the episode and she still hasn't given birth yet and I don't know how much longer I can wait for her to give birth in this episode so I decided to save because I was like maybe she'll go into labor right now who knows um, I wasn't sure exactly when I was gonna end the episode so I start talking to Fives and I'm like maybe she'll go into labor really quick and we'll have the baby before the episode's over and then I just got a little bit impatient. <laughs> so I did end up ending the episode without Poppy giving birth yet. So we're still on baby watch for probably until the next episode. I'm sure she'll give birth in the next episode. So if you guys want to see her give birth, tune in to the next one. But either way, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. Blue, blue.